Thinking about Cassandra? Yeah. Feels so empty without her. Yeah. I know. Finally. What? My crew. I just found a lug wrench out in the woods off Route 77. Out where Richie Novak was killed? Oh, my God. This could be our murder weapon. I gotta go. All right. Hello? Hello? Oh, well, did you get everything you need? We'll look for trace elements of blood first. If that comes back positive, we'll run a DNA test to see if the blood on the lug wrench is a match to your victim. Thank you, Doc. Listen, you let me know as soon as those results come in. Of course. Hello? Hey, did you just get a hang-up, too? Two? We got one this morning. At home? Yeah, about a second after you left. I thought maybe it was Cassandra calling from Paris. You know, overseas connection or something. Then the last time she checked in, I could hear her just fine. Didn't you get another hang-up on your cell? Hey, Jesse, are you oh, listening to yeah, me? Yeah, baby, I'm sorry. Um... You know, it's just this Novak case. What? Was the lug rent you dead in? No, actually, they're checking for blood right now. Uh, how long does that usually take these days? To find out if there's blood, not long at all. To find out if it's Richie's blood. Day or two. Jesse, listen. If, if Richie's DNA is on that wrench... The kids are off the hook. So if they didn't do it, who did? So what'd you get? found human blood, just as you suspected. <clears throat> and the DNA? I already set a sample over to the lab. We should know if it's a match in a day or two. Anyway, you can put a rush on that. We're working as fast as we can, Chief Hubbard. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Hey, news? Uh... There was definitely blood on the lug wrench. It's got to be Richie Novak's, right? Well, we'll find out soon. <sighs> soon? A day or two? It's not soon, baby. I need to know now. Sweetheart, I, I know you want answers. I do, too, but you're going to have to wait. I know. I know. I know. I hate it, but I know. Hey, you used to have the patience of Job. What happened? Waiting 20 years to get you back into my life and these arms again. Uh, That's what happened. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you got a break coming up? In a little while. Do you want me for lunch? We got space for ourselves. Oh, you want to eat at home? Bad idea? No, 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 no. I love it, but I, I do have a couple of patients I still have to see oh. before I can go. Hey. I don't know if I can get a meal to Don't stop. Don't even worry about it. I got it covered. All right? Yeah. You're so cute. I know. <laughs> sweetheart, where are you? I'm out here, sweetheart. Oh, something smells good. Oh, follow your nose. Hi. Mm. Uh, Jesse Harvey, what did you do? Well, come on out here. Check it out. Let me show you. <laughs> you can kick on my shoes. <laughs> this is careful, not man. an easy feat. <laughs> Watch your head. Uh, here we go. Uh -huh. Oh, my. Jesse, you did all... You did all of this? Yeah. Lamb chops? With a Moroccan spice rub. Asparagus risotto? Uh, that is Parmesan garlic risotto, excuse me. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time when we were kids and you went to open that bottle of champagne? Oh, you mean that cheap ass bottle? <laughs> Sparkling wine. <laughs> yeah, like we knew the difference. <laughs> oh, gosh, you were so excited. You were trying to look all sophisticated and then pop. <laughs> Drenched in cheap wine. <laughs> but not anymore. Look at you. Expert cork popper. <laughs> Five-star chef. <laughs> 
So, what else did you learn while you were gone? Oh, a little this, a little that, you know? Uh -uh. I don't know. What is this? I thought you said you didn't want to talk about all those missing years, huh? Yeah, but they didn't go missing. So, maybe it's time. Do you know what it's time for? A toast. A toast to my amazing wife and amazing times ahead. What? No good? I'm all for looking ahead, baby. But I'm not going to let you ignore the past. I'm not ignoring anything, baby. It's just, just nothing to share, really. In 20 years? Hey, I bounced all over the place, you know? Yeah, but what did you do in these places? <laughs> what did I do? What didn't I do? I was a busboy, I was a waiter, I was a bartender and a cook. Did you make any friends? I mean, aren't there people you miss? Not really. I mean, I never stayed in one place long enough to make any friends. In all that time, sweetheart? In all that time. Look, what are we doing? We finally get a moment to ourselves and this is how you want to spend it? Come on, hey. I got a better idea. Come on over here, Mrs. Hubbard. Dance with me. Come on. I can't imagine what it was like. You must have been so lonely. No, not really. I had you with me. Right here. Every day. Every city. Every hole in the wall restaurant. You were right here. Were you ever happy? I had my moments. Tell me. I was happiest when I dreamed of coming home to you. Why, why would you look at me? What? Whenever you talk about that time, you always avoid my eyes. I mean, why? Is there something that you need to hide? Baby, listen, come here. You gotta understand something. Here, sit down. No experience that I had out there could even come close to comparing what, with what I had with you here. I understand that, but I... They, that part of my life is over. It doesn't matter to me. That doesn't mean it didn't exist. Well, in a way, it kind of does. I've forgotten about that part of my life. This is what is important now. Okay? Now, I know I, I might have been a lot more patient back in the day, but I'm doing the best I can right now. I wasn't asking for more. I know. I know you were. Jesse, I need to feel like I know you. Oh. All of you. Not that tough to figure out. Just a guy who's madly in love with his wife and his kid. And after spending all those years away, I will never take another second with them for granted. So, are you, uh... Come in a bed, Chief Hubbard. You kidding me with a view like that? Who could refuse? <laughs> hey, I'll be there in one second, okay? Make that half. <laughs> this is you, isn't it? 